I think having a handbag is about feeling that you're holding a little bit of luxury. For me, there are two things about a great bag. One is that if you have everything you need with you, then you have freedom because you can go anywhere. And the other thing is that it masks all the chaos, is that you can have a smooth, elegant exterior to all the ramshackle <laughs> chaos that most women carry around with them in their everyday life. I looked all over the place for inspiration with this bag. Um, I looked to films. There's a film I love called Darling, which was made by John Schlesinger with Julie Christie, and there's an opening shot of her walking through London, and she's swinging this bag. And it's not a bag with a shoulder strap. It's a bag that she carries by hand, and it seems to embody modernity and freedom and independence. And that, those are all qualities that I wanted to bring to my bag. I looked at food. I think sometimes the quality of a something that you really want to own, a bag that you really want to have, it, it, you sort of want to eat it. And I looked at fruit, I looked at chocolate, and this bag that I'm holding here is obviously a lovely tangerine colour. It sort of will fit right into Christmas, but also into the summer, and I think it's a wonderful colour. So yes, bit of movies, bit of food, all the things I love. <laughs> Oh, it's been fascinating just seeing one's design come to life, something I, I sat in the Elko Bennett offices and, and sketched. Part of what's really satisfying about unzipping a, a quality handbag is hearing the music of the zip. It's got to have that nice, rich tone to it. The very exciting thing is that all these bags have been made in Italy. I, mean, I can't believe the craftsmen that have brought this vision to life because the first time I saw my drawing become a bag. It, it, it's astonishing that someone has taken the care to fully interpret every part of your design. With, with this bag, we, the, it, it comes as part of a family. Um, I travel a lot, so I appreciate having bags of, of differing sizes. So I said, could we have a really large, oversized one, which is perfect for taking us hand luggage on an aeroplane? It would almost suffice as a weekend bag. Another really fun thing that we did while we were designing it was take some bags that we knew and we had there with us and turn them inside out to see what was involved in the, in the structure of a bag. And we turned one bag inside out and found a detail that was a support structure inside that we've made an outside feature on my bag, which I love because I wanted a little sort of punctuation mark on the Napa leather. And um, I'm very pleased that this is what I call the inside out detail. And um, it's my little sort of secret nod to the fact that, you know, inside is a whole other world. <laughs> I'm really delighted with how the bag turned out. It was incredibly exciting every stage of the way. Um, and I really hope that people enjoy it as much as I intend to. <laughs>